Hi there, and welcome to Scholar AI on ChatGPT4. This is an amazing tool that uh, I can't stop using because it is so very, very useful. So let's get started. Notice what you can do here. You can read this, follow it, but I'm simply going to add what I'm looking for. So here goes. Doing a uh, research study on the following topic, digital tools in ELT, English language teaching, shaping teacher identity. And if you're interested in teacher identity, not just in ELT, but in other areas, feel free to contact me and uh, maybe we can collaborate. Going to hit the button there and here we come. Let me close uh, the sidebar so I can get... Notice it's really, really fast and um, you get correct references and citations, of course. All I've added is the title. I haven't asked a question or anything like that, which I will be doing. Notice um, it'll discuss the topic and then it'll offer some citations. And here they come. Notice um, there's one current one, 2020. The rest aren't that current. Let's see if there's another one that's even more current. No. So I can ask for more current ones. Notice um, there's a list of the references, which is really nice. It's not APA style, but I can ask for APA style. That's definitely not a problem. So if I go into this one, let me do it now, Kang and Pavlova, and notice it's not found. Now, this is typical of uh, chat GPT 3.5, but not of 4. So this is something that you might want to check, and you have to check everything, right? So we could go into this and add it to Google Scholar, which isn't going to be helping much. Or we can go into this one and see whether uh, it focuses on pedagogical design principles for digital environments. And this one does exist. Right, so let's go back here and try to locate this one by asking for uh, ideas about it. So summarize this article and provide the correct, oops, the correct link, which we didn't get here. Okay, so here it goes. Let's see what happens with that. And here it comes. I also want this um, in EPA, cannot access the full, okay, directly due to instructions. All right, but it comes back with the same one. Feel free to upload the PDF, if I could get it, that would be great. All right, so now we know that there's something fishy here, right? I'm on Google Scholar right now, and there is such an article, simply the link wasn't correct, by Kang and Pavlova, and it's the same title, so something went wrong here. Let's go into show more. You get the abstract here, and uh, you can also get the citations. This is Google Scholar. Uh, and uh, you can also get other versions. If you go into other versions, uh, you may get it in another area. Notice here it's in the Asia repository, and here it's somewhere else. So let's try and take a look at this one and see what we get, whether we get access to the article or not. Okay, so here... Um, the full notice, uh, full text is not available. Citations, of course, is. And um, we're not able, but we can access it here, apparently. That's the other link. So let's go here and see what happens here. All notice no results found, which means that it was there. There is a problem with that, apparently. So let's go back into the Google Doc and take a look at this one. This is the one that apparently is not available. Okay, here we go. We'll try it now. So notice there are problems 
Okay, here it is available in this library. This one and see if we get an error here. All right, so here we go. Now we're getting it and we're getting the full article. So notice um, it didn't quite work. Let's just copy this and go back to ChatGPT. Um, and let me just point out that here's the article. Here's the article. Please summarize it. All right, so let's see what happens with that because it's out there. All right, so now it's going into the internet and um, it has the article. Again, using um, Scholar AI, Consensus, Elicit, um, SciSpace, or any of the other ones, uh, they're all more or less the same, and I've used them all. You have to check and recheck uh, over and over again to make sure that you're getting the right information. So be cautious when you use any of these uh, AI research tools. And let me know if you have any questions. I've been playing around with this uh, for quite some time. And I think that's the key, getting as much experience as you can. The more you use it, the more you understand how things work. And you've got your backups. Okay, you can also ask your university if you've got a university online library. But in any case, Google Scholar is not perfect either. So it is a um, work in progress, I guess, and it's going to get uh, better as we go. It's not perfect right now, but um, I'm optimistic and I know things will get better and I'll keep you posted. So keep asking questions and I'll be happy to help. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.